okay so let us start your snap for pcl for power system okay sir okay mm, so generally what is the basic difference between symmetrical fault and unsymmetrical fault sir symmetrical fault means you have the system is balanced generally we assume sir the system is balanced pre, pre fault condition mm. in symmetrical faults after the fault also the system is balanced mm -hmm. so you do per phase analysis sir okay in unsymmetrical faults the example of symmetrical faults are triple l and triple lg mm. in unsymmetrical faults the system becomes unbalanced after the fault so you go for the sequence components then you construct a sequence network then you go mm. for then you analyze it sir okay give example of symmetrical fault triple l and triple lg fault sir okay um, do you think that uh, the symmetrical fault really exist or it's purely imaginary sir sometimes it will exist sir for example generally the most occurring fault is lg fault sir mm. but our system in that case our system is not grounded well mm. then we have a chance of getting arcing ground sir okay in that time that uh, lg fault converts into a triple l fault sir mm -hmm. okay what do you mean by the zone of protection so zone of protection means sir this is in distribution sir sorry in transmission line protection we will protect the total line divided into different zones sir mm -hmm. so the first relay will protect up to 80% mm -hmm. the two will protect up to 50% okay and the you have a relay in zone 1 sir mm -hmm. zone 1 relay protect in the 80% first zone and 50% in second zone and 30% in third zone you will divide sir <clears throat> okay how many type of protection relay are there sir can you how many type me? of how many type of protection relays are there protection so we have over current relays distance relays mm. in distance relays you have impedance relay more relay mm -hmm. okay what is also what is what is definite time relay okay okay so definite time relay means you you have you have give us some time instant sir for example mm. if fault occurs at t equal to 0 you will wait for some time mm. then after that uh, the relay will give the intimation to the circuit breaker sir okay we use this faults because sir we have it our transmission line is is in atmosphere sir so there has a chance of tree because of air sometimes winds tree will falls on the line automatically it will remove it okay. go away sir in that time you it is not a fault it's automatically self clearing fault sir okay okay what is inverse time relay sir inverse time relay means sir it is the operating time is inversely proportional to the magnitude of the fault current sir okay the fault current is, is high hmm. okay. then what is in the last time it will operate sir what is the basic difference between inverse time relay and definite time minimum relay sir one second sir in inverse time relay and definite time relay okay sir in definite time relay after the time delay given by the operator it will the same sir it, it, that time operating time does not depends upon the magnitude of fault current mm -hmm. it depends upon how uh, it is a fault current is more or less it will uh, operate the given time according to the given time delay <clears throat> okay what do you mean by earthing and what is important of earthing and how it is sir, different from the grounding okay sir so, if you, you have our electrical appliances for example transform a body mm. it is a metal sir mm. so sometimes the leakage currents the transform some live wire anything will touch on the transformer body mm. when a person will touch that there was a chance of the current flowing through the person sir mm. so it is very dangerous that's why we do grow we ground the body of a transformer Mm. Yeah, the resistance of that wire is less than the human body. 
डिस्टेंस ओके सो दिस ग्राउंडिंग यू कॉल इट एज एथिंग सर सो एथिंग प्रैक्टिकली डन फॉर सेफ्टी पर्पस ऑफ ए इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लायंसेस हम्म सो इफ यू फॉर इन द पावर सिस्टम यू फील डन द स्टार कनेक्टेड न्यूट्रल हम्म इफ यू डू इफ यू कनेक्ट दैट न्यूट्रल टू द ग्राउंड देन यू कॉल इट एज ग्राउंडिंग सर न्यूट्रल ग्राउंडिंग ओके सो बेसिकली हाउ मेनी टाइप ऑफ ग्राउंडिंग आर देयर सर वी हैव we have are of four types of grounding sir mm -hmm. the first grounding is solidly grounded system mm -hmm. so basically we use solidly grounding for transformer transformers sir okay so in the next grounding is resistance grounding sir mm -hmm. we done resistance grounding for alternators sir, generators mm -hmm. considering the stability sir okay we have another grounding is reactance grounding sir Mm. Done this grounding for synchronous motors, sir. Mm. Because synchronous motors are generally used as a synchronous condensers. Mm. Synchronous condensers means it is leading system; it draws leading current. Mm. So the operating voltage is generally the operating voltage is very high. Sorry, the terminal voltage of motor is very high during power exited condition. Mm. So to reduce the terminal voltage, you go for reactance grounding, sir. the fourth one is peterson coil grounding sir hmm that's it okay i have listened the term resonant grounding yes yeah, sir resonant grounding and another name for peterson coil grounding sir okay what is this peterson coil grounding sir in this case you totally eliminate the capacitance of the system with the help of coil hmm so then xl equal to xc you totally eliminate then it becomes xl equal to xc okay already our system exists a small amount of resistance sir so mm. xl equal to xc means it is resonance condition okay so does this we calculate this fault current uh, on per unit basis or normal on or on the actual basis which fault current sir any fault current any fault calculation so fault calculation you go for per unit system sir per unit base then after that you will convert into normal value okay how we can how we can specify the base value base value generally taken up on the we have a system sir hmm system you have taken the large values as a base values hmm If they don't do any given, you take an operator's rating values as a base values. Okay, in the transmission line, okay. the bus bar protection must be there. So, what are the equipment that that are related with the bus bar protection? That are related with bus bar. So I will go on through book. I. Um, uh -huh. I am unable to recall, so I will go through one's book. Okay. Generally, in the case of uh, unsymmetrical fault, right? Yes. Sir. In the case of line to line, line to line fault. Okay. Okay. So, why line to line fault is is most uncommon? because the the distance between the lines is means it not be possible because the distance between the lines is more mm. and one line will cut and comes on the another line is not is not possible in that i think because yeah, when one line cut and comes on the another automatically it falls on the ground Uh, I, that much I did not comment on this. Okay. If we have the delta delta connection. Yes, sir. Okay. And if we want to calculate the zero sequence current. Okay. Okay. So is it is it possible if we have the transmission line? Okay. We can calculate this zero sequence current with the delta delta connection. 
yes, delta delta connection are you talking about transformer sir mm -hmm. one minute this delta delta connection the connection will not go to the further equipment sir mm, okay. the you can operate here parallel switches sir okay this winding will totally grounded grounded to the ground sir this mm. cannot link to the other equipments in the system okay what do you mean by effective grounding effective grounding means solidly grounding sir directly you connect the neutral of the star into the ground what is the condition for effective grounding okay santa i did not once i go through the books sir. okay can you formulate if if uh, if any two bus direct two bus uh, generally connect directly connected to the n bus system okay okay so which type of network does it formulate you know if i want to formulate the basic impedance so how this comes into the play two bus connected to directly connected to the n bus system uh -huh. so are you talking about any bus matrix yeah bus matrix i'm calculating okay so total of n plus two sir the size of the bus is n plus two sir n plus two into n plus two uh -huh. and how to calculate the size of the size of any bus matrix Size is number of buses into number of buses, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, suppose if I talk this uh, in the case of load flow. Okay, sir. Right. In that case, um, how this, how the number of buses are connected, how we can calculate it? In the study of load flow, already. Okay. Construction of Vibus, sir, are you asking? Yeah, Vibus. Yes, sir. You, for Vibus, we have two matrices, two methods, sir. Mm -hmm. One is direct inspection method, sir. Mm -hmm. Another one is singular transformation method. Mm -hmm. If your lines does not have any mutual impedance, mutual impedance or mutual inductance, in that case, you go for the direct, uh, direct inspection method, sir. If lines have some mutual impedance, then you go for singular transformation method, sir. Uh -huh. In the both cases, the size of the bus is n by n, sir. If it you consider it as an bus system. What is the role of a sparse matrix? So the, the sparse matrix means most of the elements are zero in the in the matrix of Y bus. Uh -huh. It gives us the interconnection, sir. For example, you have a three by three system bus. For example, uh -huh. if the element one two is zero, means in the Y bus net in the day in the physical network, uh -huh. there is connection between bus one and bus two. Uh -huh. It will it will give this type of data, sir. Okay, uh, if we talk about the method of load flow, right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, what are the advantage and disadvantage of gauss serial method when comparing with the other methods like newton Debson? Yes, sir. Gauss in the gauss serial initial values are very affected to the power system uh, calculation, sir. Mm -hmm. And it will take more steps and more iterations. In the newton Debson, it will take rest iterations. Uh -huh. And so I will, again I will go on books. What on. is the type of convolution? What is the type of conversion uh, in the case of Gaussian and Newton Debson? Conversion, sir. <sighs> what is the implementation of Jacobian matrix? So, Jacobian will call in Newton Debson method, sir. Uh -huh. In the Jacobian, you will you will calculate size of the Jacobian with number of unknowns by number of unknowns. Uh -huh. 
and you have sub sub matrices as well sir in jacobian yes and i again i will go on through books and not the okay. okay listen one thing um uh if i talk about the renewable energy have you gone through this yeah, what sir renewable energy renewable energy yeah no yes i have some idea sir i have some idea okay what is the uh, how the all the type of renewable energy can be synchronized if i talk about the synchronize with each other yes sir any idea like wind solar hydro micro grid synchronization ac grid sir yeah micro grid synchronization no no sir i don't have that much sir oh pcl is generally governing is responsible for what purpose so pcl is uh, transmitting it transmits the power sir the main target is transmission of power sir mm -hmm. so it, mm -hmm. in the transmission line where this capacitor bank is being connected sir capacitor banks are connected for to control the bus voltage sir. for example we have under voltage bus sir mm -hmm. then according to it, you calculate the value of the capacitance then under you connect there to increase the bus voltage to the within the limits okay listen uh, dhola yes sir Same, no? okay please go through these topics um, like load flow okay sir okay and in the transmission line what what are the mode of protection that that are being provided like where the relay is being placed implementation of renewable energy okay sir uh, please go through these points okay sir okay transmission yeah. line protection sir yeah yeah okay in the protection they will ask the question okay okay sir please be prepared and come tomorrow tomorrow at 6 pm oh okay sir. these these three topics sir yeah oh, okay sir. sir protection you have how could you prepare sir and for pgcl how i give the how i prepare my gate yes, yes, sir. Sir? okay listen the question the question might not be so much practical uh, might be practical might not be practical but okay. they will more focusing on the protection part like uh, where the equipment is being placed what will be the mode of protection how this load flow is being calculated uh, how the number of bus is determined okay okay yes